In the previous video, we show how when this offense fire, the phishing detection offense, we actually have a custom action script that gets triggered, and we show it in here. And this is the big fix quarantine that puts the machine that got fished completely out of the network immediately. How? What are the steps that you need to do to create custom actions in Curator? And there are some misconceptions that I would like to uh, try to clarify in here. Well, the, the, the easiest part is actually to go here into the uh, admin console on custom action, define action. And I'm going to show you what I define in here for the uh, quarantine. So I'm going to edit that definition. First, you need to upload the script. And we, uh, this is actually the, the one that Bruno did. He did it on Python, but it can be also Bash or Perl. And you, once you have it debugged and ready, you upload it. And you need to deploy the changes, by the way. And then you pass parameters to the to the script. And there are two types of parameters. Ones are fixed, like most of the, of them in here, like user ID of uh, the big fix server and the password and the curator IP and other things that do not change. And there are some other elements are, are uh, that you get from the network properties. And the network event properties are, as the name implies, things that come from the actual logs. Like, for example, the source IP is a network event property because that's the source IP of the machine that was detected to be fished, and that's the one that we want to take out of, of the network. So that was easy. The the little bit more elaborated thing is how do I write and test and develop my custom action script? Uh, people think that the custom action scripts are very limited and you can do nothing with them, and that's not the case. The reality is that your custom script runs within a curator jail. It will be pretty silly to have a, a script that when launched from the offense, you can do whatever you want on the curator box because from the security standpoint, that's silly, and that will compromise the integrity of the curator system. So and that's what you cannot do, the standard things that you will do when you get into, you know, for example, when you SSH into the curator box. However, like many things in life, it's not that you get no, is you need to know how to ask to get the things that you want. And you do everything that you want to do via RESTful APIs. So we're going to show two things in here. One is any data you need from Curator, you will get it by calling into the APIs. And you, you and everything in Curator, almost everything is, is really exposed via APIs. So whatever you need from Curator, you'll get it, but you need to ask via APIs, which is a safe way of getting what you need without compromising the security of the box. And, and to do that, we actually are gonna be uh, showing you how to build the API call by uh, going here into in the same uh, curator browser we're going to show you how you build step by step those API calls and the second part is going to be how you make API calls into other systems in this case we're going to show it with big fix so in our case we're going to take the source IP of the machine that is being fished and we're going to ask big fix hey big fix what is the BES ID, which is the nomenclature that BigFix uses, that or the host name, uh, and, and then that's on the asset database, and we make the right API call, and we get that BES, BES, uh, uh, BES ID uh, number, and then we pass that into BigFix. We build, we will build an XML uh, on the Python script, and we'll show you all that, and and we pass that BES ID to the fixlet in BigFix that is going to quarantine that machine. 